The following is an NBC special presentation. Hi there, and welcome to a very special hour. Why, thank you. Well, I, actually, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to them. Oh. <clears throat> Back in 1968, I was asked to take part. I'm sorry about the interruption. That's okay. Back in 1968, I was asked to take part in an experiment to see if you could use television to teach preschool children. We all figured it might last a few seasons at most, but here we are 20 years later, and Sesame Street is still going strong. 20 years! Yes, 20 years. Woo! Anyhow, tonight we're going to look back over those years. Our host is Bill Cosby, and our very special guest stars are Ray Charles and Placido Domingo. It's a very different kind of birthday party, and you're all invited. Why, thank you! Oh, 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 I, I'm sorry. You, you were talking to them, right? No, actually, you have to go get changed, all right? Because it's time for us to start the show. And here's Bill Cosby. Hi, I'm standing on the most famous street in America, maybe in the whole world, Sesame Street. The Fix-It Shop, Hooper Store, the Carriage House, Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog! Bill Cosby! What are you doing here? Well, well, actually, I'm not here at all, you see. I'm on my way out to do my Frog on the Street interview asking the question of the day. Yeah, would you do me a favor? Ask me the question of the day. I always uh, wanted that. Uh, no, I, no I, come I couldn't, on, come I couldn't on. do gotta, that. You no, gotta, it, you gotta, it, you it wouldn't it. work, Please, Bill. come on. Well, now, well, ask me. Go well, ahead. Okay, well, the question of the day is, uh -huh. uh, can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Well, Kermit... Uh, yeah, it is a kind of a dumb question. Yeah, I told you it wouldn't yeah. work. I'll but, see you around, Okay, folks. buddy. Take care. Right. Sesame Street has been here 20 years. 40 million kids have graduated from this place. And it's now seen all over the world. And they're still asking how to get here. I took the A-train. Sesame Street, 20 and still counting, is brought to you by the Clorox Company, continuing a tradition of providing quality household products to American families. Tonight, Clorox is proud to bring you this special presentation of the people who lived on Sesame Street, who have become dear to the hearts of children everywhere. Introducing new lemon fresh Clorox liquid bleach. Can you say Oshkosh Bagosh? I want him to. Oh, okay, sure. Did you say that? Say Oshkosh Bagosh. No. I will try to. Oshkosh Bagosh. Oshkosh Bagosh. Oshkosh Bagosh. Oshkosh Bagosh. Oshkosh Bagosh. Kids' clothes as tough as our name. I'm over here, Bernice. Smile. Very good, Bernice. Oh, Ernie, I love our new video camera. Yeah, I do too, but what are you doing, Bert? I I'm taping Bernice for my all-pigeon video. 
Oh, Ernie, it's going to be great. At oh. last, we'll be able to see pigeons on TV. Oh, but, but, Bert, who wants to see pigeons on television? Listen, Bert, I've got a much better idea. Very nice. Bert, huh? why don't we take pictures of Sesame Street? Then we can see Sesame Street on television. Ernie, who wants to see Sesame Street on TV? Oh, we can see it outside our window every day. But that's not like on television, Bert. It's not the same. See, I want to see Sesame Street on television. Hey, Bert, huh? let me take the camera yeah. for a second. Ernie, what are you doing with the camera? Smile, Bert. <laughs> Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. On television, huh? Mm-hmm. You know, this is uh, this is about the nicest family I've ever spent 20 years with. <laughs> 20 years. Mm. You haven't changed a bit, Bob. No, well. <laughs> <laughs> only my, my of course, I'm, I'm the new kid on the block. That's only, right. only 15 for me. Oh, 15. Yeah. When I first started, the thing that I liked about Sesame Street so much was Gordon and Susan being a black couple living in an inner city. It was going to be such a positive... Mm. Role model. Little did I know <laughs> that our family was going to include birds and grouches and muppets and letters and numbers, numbers and, and shapes and, and, and wow. so many and so many people and were, so many new people. Your well, son was a great addition to family. Of course, Miles is the newest addition now. Yeah. You know, uh, the party. Remember the party we oh, had for Miles? Oh, I love that. That was great. Yeah, we baby, sang baby, baby, baby. Oh, baby. right, but, but your You're backup baby. group was very phenomenal. Oh, we really had our steps together. Backup group was great. <laughs> yeah. become an incredible family, not just on Sesame Street, but on and off, on and off yeah. camera both. Well, I'm up for 20 more. How about you guys? I think I'm sure. up. Sure. Right. Right. wanted to do that. <laughs> Welcome to Sesame Street, PhD face. Didn't they ever teach you to mind your own business? I've been insulted by Oscar the Grouch. Oh, hi all, Kermit the Frog here for Sesame Street News, your frog in the street asking regular folks our question of the day. I scream! <laughs> Get your Tootsie Fritzy ice cream! Now, our question of the day... Get your Tootsie Frog your ice cream! Grover, what are you doing here? I am trying to make my blue furry little living. What are you doing? I, I'm trying to be on television. Now, will you get out of the way? Television? Yes. I'll go on with you. No. <gasps> television? Yes. Yeah. It is television! Hello, Grover. Mommy! Hello, Grover. Mommy! Huh? Will oh, you I, get out of here? I'm sorry. Thank you for allowing a monster into your living room. Mm. Okay, Tootsie, bye, Mommy. Toot, tootsie, Fruitsie, ice cream! Ice cream, you don't want any. No, no, oh, get out, get out, get out. Ice cream! Her question of the day is, can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Ah, oh, here comes someone now. Uh, hey, excuse me, ladies. Hermes, uh, Mommy! Yeah, I was wondering, our question of the day is, can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Don't you remember? What? Uh, Sesame Street, 1973. Wait, wait a second. Fanny? Shala? Yeah! Really? <laughs> you guys yeah well, we we did next to exactly <laughs> and listen we thought we would uh, talk to you a little bit about the concept of being next to you see now then right there you see charlotte is next to fanny right because they're right close close together you see so they are next to each other now kermit the frog is next to charlotte hmm? i know that oh yes thank you that's lovely. <laughs> and then now, if I go back here, black, I am next to Fanny. Right? Talk to me. And now, I am next to Charlotte.
Joyla. Mm. <laughs> and now, I am next to Fanny, right? Oh. Cool. Hey, thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, well, listen, tell me, Charlotte, what are you doing now? I'm a sophomore at the University of Texas, and really? I'm also on the track team. Are you any good? And they say I've got a little bit of potential, and I, last summer I was on the junior national team, and we competed at the World Games in Canada. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> and Fanny, what are you doing now? Well, I go to the University of Pennsylvania, and I attend the Wharton School of Business. Really? What are you majoring in? I'm majoring in marketing and multinational management. Really? Yes. Do, you, do you speak uh, other languages and stuff? Yeah, I try to speak four. French, Spanish, English, and Chinese. Really? Do you speak frog? Ribbon, 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 ribbon. Oh, ribbon, ribbon, ribbon! Wow, yeah. she actually does speak frog, folks. <laughs> uh, well, it's been wonderful to be next to you guys one more time. It's been great oh, to be next to you. I remember oh, the hug, kid. too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, see well, thanks a lot. Yeah. Right, but, uh, hey, hey, you forgot to answer the question. <laughs> Oh, well, they have grown up, haven't they? In 1968, nobody knew how to get to Sesame Street because there was no Sesame Street. Then they made a TV show to help inner city kids get ready for school. But first, you got to get their attention. And there's one sure way to do that. An eight foot two yellow bird. <laughs> Big bird, what's going on? Oh, uh, well, I'm uh, sorry, I really can't talk right now. Because there's some things I just have to do. What is this with everybody I've seen? They've got something to do. They've got something to do. What's so important? Well, I don't know, but I know I have to do this. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm telling you, that's important. That is really important. But that's not all. I really got to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Can you do that? Well, if it's important, is it important? Oh. Very important. Uh -huh. How's that? Looks good. Well, it feels pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's fun. What else do you do? Oh, lots of things. Yeah. What a bird. What a bird. What an absolutely super duper. Soft scrub with Clorox bleach. 
It's as tough as any powder on stains, but it's as gentle as soft scrub on everything else. So which one will I hang on to? Bye-bye powders. Soft scrub and soft scrub with Clorox bleach wipe out the need for powders. Mama keeps red, red like a wagon. Mama keeps green, green like a dragon. Mama keeps white, bright like a wish come true. Mama's got the magic of Clorox, too. Clorox is giving away scholarships and books. Because the ratings fundamental. And you can oh, save money on these Clorox products. Chances are Sunday's paper has more details. <laughs> so read all about it. Because <laughs> reading is fun. Whiskers. It's no ordinary cat food. It's the cat food cats find irresistible. Whether it's meaty or crunchy, it's got the fresh meat taste cats just adore. As you see, cats know what's good. That's why more and more cat owners tell us their cats prefer Whiskers. What could be funnier than a new set of Parent Trap Twin triplets? What? What? One Barry Boswick and two Haley Mills equals a new Parent Trap 3 Sunday. That's one. One commercial break I have counted. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yes, uh, <clears throat> I missed the first one. Nobody's perfect. Sesame Street has helped to change what our kids are taught in school. Yeah. No one reason? Yeah. Monster! Yeah. 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 Okay, go ahead, quiet, 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 quiet. They're picking up stuff from monsters and frogs. Yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, R, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, <laughs> Cooking monster is in the letter of the alphabet. It goes Q R S T. <laughs> Next time, Cooking Monster can do it with you. I'm leaving. I love you. I love you too. Okay. Let's meet some kids who grew up watching Sesame Street. I'm 25 years old. Um, I guess I was five years old when Sesame Street started. Um, I watched it as a kid. Um, I have a three-year-old son now, and he loves it, and I remember most of the things that he's still watching, and, um, and I can share it with him because I went through the same thing. Sesame Street was very instrumental in me becoming a celebrity in kindergarten because I could say the alphabet backwards, which no other kid could do, and I could still say it. And it goes like uh, Z-Y-X-W-V-U-T-S-R-Q-P-O-N-M-L-K-J-I-H-G-F-E-D-C-B-A. My two favorite characters were Bert and Ernie. I liked them the most because they shared everything and they teach youngsters how to share and not fight. I mean, well, they did have fights with each other, but still, after that, they still were the best of friends. I came over from Dominican Republic when I was two months old, and I really didn't know any English. And my mom told me that Sesame Street taught me English. I mean, I really learned ABCs, everything with Sesame Street, Bill Cosby, everybody teaching me the alphabet. Favorite thing was learning how to speak uh words in Spanish. I, I would go into kindergarten and I knew Spanish. I like Big Bird because he's very tall and I, I always wanted to be tall when I grew up. That was one thing I wanted to be when I was older, bigger. And, and he was bigger, yes, and I, and I was very short at the time. And I would tell my friends, you know, one day I'm going to be as tall as Big Bird and you guys better watch out. You are some bird. Ah. <laughs> How old are you? I'm six. You've been around for 20 years now. How come you're still six? Just lucky, I guess. <laughs> Kids love giant birds. Kids also love commercials. But instead of commercials for toys, why not commercials for letters or numbers? upon a time.
time in the land of eight, there stood a castle very great, and eight flags waved in the air, for the king of eight had put them there. I'm the king of eight, and I'm here to state that everything here has to total eight. The guards, for instance, by the gate, must always number exactly eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In my castle and back of me are eight windows, you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In those windows are my daughters. Show yourselves, my dears. One, two, three, four, five. Daughter has a silver crown with eight jewels going round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So oh, I love eight. Eight is great. Eight is the number I do not. Wait, important news comes from the queen, a new baby, and I have seen that she is well and doing fine. Good grief, it's princess number nine. One, two, three, four. Five, six, 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 no, no, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixty-four, People ask me about that clip, I tell them that's my son. Hi, old Kermit the Frog here, still trying to get an answer to our question of the day. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> Grover! Grover, what are you doing? I have to do job! I, I'm trying to ask the question of the day, will you stop that thing? I would if I could! Uh, Grover, I think... <laughs> Well, now, will you get out of here and let me ask the question of the day? I am standing right next to you, Froggy. You do not have to shout. <sighs> I just want to ask someone the question of the day. Oh, would a furry blue monster do? Uh, okay. Good. Here it is. All right, shoot. The question of the day is... Go for it. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Yes, I can answer that question. Oh, good. Well, folks, we have an answer. Mm -hmm. And the answer is... No. No? No, I cannot tell you how to get to Sesame Street. I do not know. The Sesame Street people want us to watch the show with our kids, so they write it to entertain adults also. And that's one reason it keeps up with the TV times. I got a new way to walk. Walk, walk. I got a new way to walk. Walk, walk. Alistair Cookie, welcome to Monster Beast Theater, home of classy drama. Squeal of Fortune! Give the pig a spin! Whee! One! Whee! Two! Whee! Three! There's a secret behind all this kidding around, you see. Secret? Oh, oh, Elmo, Elmo would love to hear the secret. Oh, please, please, Mr. Cosby. All right, now, are you ready Elmo. for it? Yes, yes, Here's yes. a secret. Okay. There is uh -huh. a curriculum. A curriculum. You got it. All right. Come on, won't tell. Right. And it's based on continuing research, so it's always changing. The first year, the children counted to 10. Now they're up to 40. So you see... Um, but, excuse me. Yes, sir. What curriculum means? Curriculum.
curriculum is a list of things to teach. A list of things to teach. Really? Yes. Thank you. You got it. Good. Now, some of the subjects they've added over the years are ecology. Yay! Spanish sight words like say, habla, espanol. Si, si. Now it's science. And they're experimenting with air. Give me lots of air. Nice, beautiful air. For you and me to share air. Because there is no doubt when we breathe in and out, the thing that breathing's about is air. 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 Here, there, everywhere. Air. It's everywhere. Air. Here. Breathe it, you blow it, in case you didn't know it, it's air! Okay, rolling? Rolling. Okay, everyone, now this is Sesame Street on television, so hold still, okay? Take a pose, hold still. Hold still. Oh, uh, wait, wait a second, why should they hold still, Bert? Because this is television. All right, everyone move. Move your heads, move your hands. <laughs> right, right, move. <laughs> Good. Good. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Where's Oscar? It wouldn't be Sesame Street without Oscar. Oscar, where are you? Oscar! 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 Hey, hold your horses. I'm still in makeup. Makeup? Oh, Oscar, come on out. Ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. <laughs> Wait, oh. here's my good side. <laughs> oh, cut, 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 cut! You never look better, Bert. <laughs> Sesame Street was the first national kid show with an integrated cast, not just ethnically. In the crowd, you'll find deaf people, mentally retarded, physically disabled, so kids learn to respect people who are different and to have a positive image of themselves. Joe Raposo wrote a beautiful song that says all this, sung for us now by Ray Charles. It's not that easy being green Having to spend each day the color of the leaves When I think it could be so much nicer Being red, yellow or gold Or something much more colorful like that It seems you blend in with so many other ordinary things And people tend to pass you over But you're not standing out like flashy sparkles on the water Or stars in the sky Them 
lemon smells so fresh and pretty like new lemon fresh Clorox. Them lemon smells so fresh and pretty new lemon fresh Clorox bleach for. Formula 409 Spray Cleaner puts greasy dirt on the run before you start to wipe. 409 puts grease on the run. 5, 6, 7, and... Dance. Get on your feet. Feel the fire. Feel the heat. And move to the groove of the beat. 2, 3, 4. Be bopping, but you've got a thirst, you just can't top it. You can't beat it. Coca Cola Classic. You can't beat the feeling. Uh, okay, Joe, a time to take five. Time for some Wrigley Spearmint gum. Professor, does this always happen? What? He's thinking Wrigley Spearmint is pure chewing satisfaction. Hmm. It's cool uh -huh. and refreshing. Ooh. The chewing enjoyment goes on and on. It can only mean one thing. What? A Wrigley Spearmint is pure chewing satisfaction. They read my mind. Wrigley Spearmint is pure chewing satisfaction. Make Friday nights family night and step into a land of enchantment. It'll make you feel like a kid again. Amazing news! With something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. What? All right, Kermit, something green. Huh, wow. Next Friday, it's the premiere of the Jim Henson Hour. Have you ever dreamed of getting away from it all, moving up north, living a simpler life? This woman had that same dream. And seven years ago, she left the security of a well-paying, full-time job for the serenity of a North Shore and what she hoped would be a better life for her family. Deb White's story, Sunday at 10 on News 11. Do you remember that little yellow nightie you used to wear? You loved that nightie. Made you look like a big banana. Cheers. Tonight at 10.35 on TV 11. The dangerous winds and a thunderstorm. We'll tell you about them at 10. That's two. Two commercials I have counted. Ah, ah, ah. Are you ready? Okay, now, here we go. When I say action, mm -hmm. you fix the toaster. Mm -hmm. This is going to be so exciting. Okay. Yeah. Point the camera at them. I'm shooting the director. Look, point at them. Okay. Here we go. Ready? And action. Fix the toaster, oh, honey. Let's fix the toaster. Fix the toaster. Yes. And, and smile. Here we go. Smile. Uh -huh. And wave. <laughs> and fix the toaster. That's it. Can you imagine how many kids have been on Sesame Street with us in the past 20 years? Oh, a few thousand. Thousands. And Several great, thousands. great kids. Good oh, looking. Boy, just oh, incredible. Shala and Fanny, Shala we just saw. They've yeah. really they grown up. Yeah. Of course, there's, there's one that stands out. John John. John, John. What a right. kid. Do you suppose we could count together? Yeah. Okay. I'll go first, and you go second, okay? Okay. I'll, I'll do the first one, and then you, then you. I and, go first. Oh, you, you want to go, go first? Second. Okay, you go first. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's after 15. After 15 comes... Uh, 16. Oh, God, that's it. 16. 17. 17 18. 18. 19. 19. Um, what comes after 19? 20. John, John, is that you all grown up? It sure is, Harry. Whoa, great to see. I guess they don't call you John, John anymore, huh? No, Harry, they don't. Now they call me John Williams. And what's this you got on, John? Well, now I'm in the Air Force. Whoa. And I've been in for about a year and a half. Maybe for old time's sake we could just do a little counting? Sure we from, can. From 16, huh? Okay, but I'll go first. 
You go second. Right. Okay. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty. You want to know something, Natasha? My mommy. Sesame Street has a mother. Oh. Her name is Joan Gans Cooney, and she and Jim Henson are old friends. La Luli. La Luli. <laughs> when you started Sesame Street 20 years ago, did you ever think that we'd be sitting here now talking about it? No, but I, I think that, that what we had was a very good show with a very clear purpose, which was to prepare young children for school. And the curriculum was right there, the letters, the numbers. Now, of course, we've added immensely to it. I think also there were two things that were entertainment blockbusters. One was the Muppets, and the other was using commercials uh, to teach instead of to sell products. And adults in the population got it right away and really overwhelmed the critics, if you recall. And it was very American and, and sort of hip American, and the Muppets made it greatly so. So it sort of caught me by surprise when the Germans came to us and said, can we do a co-production? Not dub it, a real co-production. That was the first co-production that was Germany. That right. was the first. And then I think uh, Latin America followed, which was thrilling, Plaza Sesamo, because we were reaching so many poor children. But the most thrilling, I think, for me was when it went to the Arab world and then followed in Israel. And so that we knew that Arab and Israeli children would have essentially the same pedagogical experience in their early years. And my dream is that one day they'll be at a negotiating table together, the Arabs and the Israelis, and one of them will say to another some line of Bert's and Ernie's and they'll pick up the routine <laughs> and peace will break out in the Middle East. That's been my dream all the, ever since it started. Oh, rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Bo, 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 rio. Mi patito es un primo. Si lo aprieto con amor. Da un chillido que muestra felicidad. Do not adjust your set. That was Rubber Ducky in English, Spanish, Hebrew, German, and French. How, you may ask, is it possible? It is possible because Sesame Street is the longest street in the world. It's seen in 83 countries. Some countries have their own version in their own language with their own characters. Plaza Sesimo, produced in Mexico, seen all over Latin America. Instead of an eight-foot canary, it has a seven-foot parrot named Montoya and Badoki Grouch. <laughs> Seen throughout the Arab world and done in Kuwait is Ifta Yasimsum, 
a little back street place where you find Melsoon the parrot and a big furry guy named No Man. Samson the bear and Tiffy live in Germany on Sesamstrasse with George and Bettina. In Holland, a mouse, a dog, and a bird named Pino live on Sesamstrat. Spain, the stars of Barrio Sesimo are Don Pimpon and a pink porcupine named Espinete. In Israel, on Rehov Sumsum, lives another star porcupine named Kippy. He lives outside the bakery with Ufnik the Grouch. Sesame Street, worldwide, many countries, many cultures, many languages. We speak many languages on this Sesame Street, my friend. Yes. We sing many languages, too. Yes. Hey, excuse me, I have to meet someone. Really? Mm. Who are you meeting, Carmen? <laughs> Not today. I am meeting my namesake, Placido Domingo. Mm. You're kidding. Mm. The two Placidos. See, si, but mm. we are very different. His singing is for the people. My singing is for the birds. Mm. <laughs> well, he said it, I didn't. Yes, he's coming. Oh, Here today. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. No autographs today. Oh. I am here to meet the other greatest opera singer in the world. Oh. My namesake. Placido! Placido, finally! Flamingo! Flamingo! <laughs> it is so good to see you! It's nice to see you, I mm. care about you. Shall we sing? Absolutely, after you. Oh, no, 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 no! After you! Okay, I start. Look through the window Walk through the door Feel a new feeling You've not felt Look through the window, there are wonders to see, and the whole world will open to you and to me. Look through the window, walk through the door, open your heart. I like that. I'm going to do it this time in Spanish. And I will do it in English. Mira hacia afuera. Abre el portón. Y vas a sentir una nueva emoción. Mira hacia afuera. Pues hay tanto que ver. Sesame Street, 20 and still counting. Sponsored in part by Oshkosh Bagosh. Clothing for the entire family. The genuine article since 1895.
Italian dressings have oil, and Italian dressings have vinegar. But only one Italian dressing has the touch of ranch. Introducing Hidden Valley Ranch, ranch-style Italian. It's amazing how just a touch of ranch can turn ordinary Italian dressing into a delicious new taste in Italian. Hidden Valley Ranch, ranch-style Italian. The only one with a touch of ranch. It was a hot, steamy night. Drains were clogged all over town. Three tough guys plumbing. For clogs at their worst. It is for you. Liquid Plumber is the plumber to call first. To clear out tough clogs, call Liquid Plumber first. <laughs> when children open a fresh box of Crayola crayons, they open up their imagination. Crayola crayons. All the colors of imagination. It's the night country goes Hollywood as Patrick Duffy hosts some of the biggest musical stars on the 24th Annual Academy of Country Music Awards, Monday. It is I, the Count, with a counting update. That was another commercial break. That makes three commercial breaks I have counted. And one I have not counted. That would have made four commercial breaks. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> weather at 11. Things that happen to all of us happen on Sesame Street. Life is part of the curriculum too. For instance, last year Maria and Luis fell in love and they got married. Maria are making a promise today, a promise to share their lives together. And guess what's going to happen next? No. There's a baby growing inside your body right now? <laughs> Pretty amazing, huh? Where? <laughs> right here, Big Bird. How did that happen? Well, you, you see, Big Bird, after Maria and I got married, well, we, we decided that we wanted to have a family, see? We wanted to have a child to love and to take care of. So, together, we started a baby growing inside her body. Gee, well, when can I see it? When will the baby come out? In nine months. <laughs> oh, and then we can have a birthday party, huh? You bet, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yay! <laughs> and this isn't the first baby in Big Bird's life. A few years ago, Susan and Gordon adopted a baby and Big Bird learned about adoption. Okay, Big Bird. Now, uh, you see, there are children who, who need someone to take care of them oh, and to yeah. love them. Yeah. And Miles is one of those children. And uh, Susan and I would like to have a baby to take care of and to love. So, we're adopting Miles, which means that he is going to be our son and will be his parents. For how long? Forever. You see, when you adopt a baby, uh, he's yours forever. Gee, well, when do you get him? Well, we're going to bring him home tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Tomorrow? That's right. You mean there's going to be a new baby on Sesame Street tomorrow? Yep. Miles, this is your Sesame Street family. Five years ago, Will Lee, the actor who played Mr. Hooper, died. He was not replaced by another actor. The children were not told Mr. Hooper moved away or something. On Sesame Street, Mr. Hooper died. Big Bird, uh, don't you remember we told you? Uh, Mr. Hooper died. He, he's dead. Oh, yeah, I remember. Well, I'll give it to him when he comes back. Big Bird, when, when people die, they don't come back. Ever? Well, Big Bird, they, they're dead. They, they can't come back. Well, it won't be the same. You're right, Big Bird. It's, it's, it'll never be the same around here without him. Mm. But you know something? We can all be very happy that we had a chance to be with him and to know him yeah. and to love him a lot when he was here. Yeah. 
you know, I'm going to miss you, Mr. Looper. That's Hooper, Big Bird. Hooper. <laughs> and so Big Bird learned about death, birth, love, marriage, adoption, and that life is constantly changing as Sesame Street keeps changing. Hey, cuz, you got cookie? Some things never change. You got cookie oh, for cookie? Yeah, got cookie. Oh, mm, mm, oh, mm, oh, mm, oh, mm. This is Kermit the Frog yeah. still trying to get an answer to our question of the day. Yeah. Oh, darn music. Can, can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Practice. <laughs> Wrong. That's how you get to Carnegie Hall. Oh, never mind. I give up. Hey, let's go home, guys. Incidentally, what's tomorrow's question? Do you know the way to San Jose? Taxi! I want to go to Sesame Street. Sure. Can you tell me how to get there? <laughs> Another satisfied customer. Cheese! <laughs> yeah, cut, 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 cut. Oh, great, great. Did you get all that, Ernie? Huh? It's all here, Bert, old buddy. Every single picture we took. Now we can see Sesame Street on television. Oh! Oh boy! What? Cassette! Um, nom, 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 cookie monster! Oh no! Now we'll have to shoot it all again! Camera! Oh no! Now we'll never see Sesame Street on television! That's your business, Bert. Oh, what do we do now? I know! We could sing! Yeah! Over a thousand songs have been written for Sesame Street. Kind of a tin pan alley for kids. Yeah, well, thanks what? for the lift. Hey, Kermit. Oh, I, I'm sorry, but I can't talk right now. No, we'll talk to you. Well, I gotta go sing a song. Okay, well, it's busy little frog. You heard it here first, 19 years ago. Sing, sing a song. Sing out loud. Sesame Street is 20 years old, yes. And going on for another 20, because there's always something new to teach and always someone new to teach it to. Are you ready? Here we go. A, B, Sesame Street, 20 and still counting, has been brought to you by the Clorox Company, continuing a tradition of providing quality household products to American families.